Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we got a complete review of the Lodge Cook It All, so y'all stay tuned. <music> So I am excited. I finally, finally found something that the Lodge Cook It All does great. But y'all gonna have to wait to the end of the video to see this one. So we've had the Lodge Cook It All now for about a month. And, you know, I consider myself pretty good cast iron Dutch oven cooking. That's kind of what we do here at the Backwoods Gourmet Channel. Um, some people consider me an expert. I don't, I, I don't think anybody ever is an expert at at a that you know Dutch oven cast iron cooking because you know things turn out differently depending on the weather uh, all the time. So the first video we did, we did an unboxing of the product, showed it to you. Uh, some of the drawbacks uh, initially are the uh, is the weight, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, and the other thing is these uh, this kind of cumbersome way to operate it. You know, I'm used to one tool right here. That's it. No, I got this. So this, the first thing we really want to do with it, and it's what's shown in the Lodge commercial, is cooking that pizza at camp. I was so excited about that. That's one of the reasons why I went and bought it. It's 130 bucks, by the way. Um, plus shipping. Plus shipping. Don't forget that. 30 pounds of shipping there. I think it was like $158 to my door. Anyway, so first thing we tried to do was make that pizza and... This is kind of how it went. So one thing I did do is I just brought it out. I brought out the camp made lid stand to hold that more securely and evenly when we pull it off. I was setting it on top of the charcoal chimney and that was a bit shaky. So, and the, the regular lodge little guy that we have up under there is not quite tall enough to keep it out of the ashes up here on the table. So, Pulled out the old camp made. We'll try that here in a sec. Oh. Ashes in my pizza, great. Man, I wish they made this rim on the outside bigger. All right, well, told you it was gonna be an experiment. You gotta watch those ashes falling off from the outside edge. This little rim they have here is only about, I don't know, less than a quarter of an inch thick or tall. So as you see, as my coals are burning down, the ashes are falling off the edge there. It just fell right in the pizza. Mm. Extra crunchy pizza with, uh, with ashes included. You know, they, they spill over really easily off of that edge. So I know I got a big blob of them right in here. We'll go ahead and just kind of cut that out. That, that that whole slice of pie right there. It's pretty much uh, ashes everywhere. But, you know, just showing you how it looks, the, the crust is perfect on the bottom. Um, the top is still could use a little, little help. So the next thing I did, because, you know, all the pictures they show and all the parts in the commercial and even in the little cookbook up there, so cooking over an open fire. So I'm like, all right, we're going to give it a shot with open fire. So we took that griddle portion, put it up on our trivet, and uh, cooked up some steaks. Y'all check that out. So that worked really well, and um, but you know I, it, it didn't work any better than my normal you know lodge griddle that I already have. It actually fits that that trivet I made there perfectly. All right, so that worked pretty well with the open fire. So we tried to use the griddle to do one of Chef Johnny over at Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisines video uh, on some quesadillas, but 
I put some smoked brisket in mine. Y'all check this out. So the next thing I tried to try to doing was uh, just using the the, the pot portion, uh, you know, with some charcoal under. Try to cook off some chicken thighs real quick. Uh, this is how that went. So we got the lodge cook it all out here again, and uh, just put three chicken thighs in there. A little bit of onions. This has been going now for like 30 minutes. I have got like a chimney of charcoal up under this thing. I burned a lot of coals here already so I don't know it's a big piece of iron I don't know how well suited this is for charcoal cooking sure it work a lot better on a campfire so the next thing I seen a recipe for in the in the cook it all cookbook up there was for some breakfast hash with similar stuff we make around here all the time in a regular cast iron skillet so I said we'll let's give it a try we'll put it up on a propane burner see how that works well, here you go. You're going to have to keep it moving from the outside to in because, like I said, a lot hotter in the center than it is anywhere else. Lid back on. Give it another few minutes. All right, guys, like two and a half minutes. Go ahead and take the lid off, check on our eggs. You want to stop these a little sooner than what you think you should and give them a little poke test because they're going to keep cooking in this big piece of iron for a minute. So let's go ahead and pull them jokers off of there right now. Let's go in and take a look, see how we did. Mmm. Looks really good. Some cheese. A little bit of egg. You want some. I know you do. So we've seen how that worked as a skillet. So I said, well, let's throw it up on a propane burner and get a little bit of heat in it and we'll use it like a wok. You know, it's semi-rounded on the bottom. I have a, a steel wok hanging on the wall back here. We use it on a propane burner all the time. Works perfect. So give it a try there. And um, here's some of the trouble we had with that. So what I just had to do was take my wooden spoon and scrape out this center part. This little center part here is so damn hot that it just burned uh, the drippings from the meat almost immediately. And I had to scrape it out to keep everything from tasting burnt. Next, going in broccoli and our white onions. And keep this moving around that middle. I'm going to kick the fire back down a little bit now because it's just, we want to sear that and get that, 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 uh, that char on our veg. So we don't want to burn it up. So well, after that whole journey through, uh, you know, the, the cookbook and the different things they show doing in the Lodge Cook at All. So well, we gotta have to try this peach uh, berry. They have a mixed berry cobbler in their in their uh, cookbook. There we didn't have them, so we made it with peaches, with uh, their topping recipe, which turned out pretty well. Uh, and we use it in a Dutch oven configuration. Now, it did work, and the dish turned out great. But it took two full chimneys of charcoal to cook the dish. I could have done the same dish in my 12 inch Dutch oven uh, with only one, one chimney of charcoal. Okay, another tip is don't get those charcoals too close to the edge. That little rim is pretty short too. Your ashes will start falling over it. Then when you move it, it's gonna end up down in your wherever you're cooking. So we'll put that on the lodge stand over there. We'll go ahead, we'll pull this off. So I know a lot of people have been asking me about it already. What do you think about the Lodge Cook It All? Um, mm. So we're out here on Lake Toho today trying to do a little fishing, but the wind came up a little. So finally found a good use for the Lodge Cook It All. Boat anchor. Hey. Yeah. So people 
people have been asking uh, why they don't see the Lodge Cook at all on my Amazon store. Well, it's not on Amazon. They're only selling it direct. Uh, and if even if they were selling it on Amazon, um, I'm probably not going to put it up there. I only put stuff up on there that I recommend for you guys. So remember, if you like what we're doing, please hit the like button right down there to subscribe to our channel. You can do it right here to see another great Backwoods Gourmet video. It's going to be right up there. And for a whole playlist of cooking with a Lodge Cook It All, I'll see you right up there. We'll see you next time.